Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, this was, uh, first of all, Happy Halloween. This was sort of my Halloween costume yesterday, so I thought it'd be kind of funny to, to put it on as my skin. Um, I'm making this video to talk a little bit about the recent mini Bed Wars update that happened. Um, mainly regarding changes to the ticket machine. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, well, let me explain first what happened. So, there were a lot of people who were using, they are kind of taking advantage of the ticket machine and using it to get, like, a ton of stars um, without really having to play very much, which, you know, most people see as quite, quite unfair, which, that makes sense. Oh, jeez, no. What? He just broke the bed through me. That's lame. Well, anyway. Um... I think people saw that as pretty unfair, which I can understand why, because, um, you know, there there were people who got onto the lifetime leaderboard who didn't have nearly as many wins or games played or whatever as other people, and they got on simply because they grinded the ticket machine, not because they were dedicated players of the game for years and years, you know, um, which I feel that that makes sense. Um, let's... Alright, we got him. Nice. Um, so, anyway. The reason I'm a little bit disappointed is because even though I... Uh, I didn't... So, I did use the ticket machine to level up sometimes. Um, in decent amounts. But I never, like, took full advantage of it. Let's see if it's still... There we go. I just took a lot of fall damage. There we go. With any luck. Uh oh. Okay. That was close. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go to mid. Anyway, let me try and talk while I bridge. Um. So obviously people were getting upset because uh, players like Ichi Winnie and Uruhashi, um, who were like very, very quickly climbing the leaderboard, um, were getting like multiple prestiges per month, which under normal circumstances would be completely impossible. Um, but because of some exploits in the ticket machine, some of which are known, some of which are not, um, none of which I actually got to use. <laughs> uh, then uh, they were able to just level up crazy fast. Um, which, yeah, I understand that's no no fun for, for the majority of players. All right, this guy's probably going to have sharpness, so we're going to have to... Where is he? Oh, he's a 700 star. Oh, great. No, jeez. Come on. Dude, I'm trying to make a commentary video. Yeah, you're dead, sorry. Oh, okay. Um, grab a couple more M's. Oh, anyway. Um, now, I was using a lot of my like, Slumber Hotel items specific. Oh, jeez, he's coming. Right, we gotta, we gotta dip. Do I even have enough blocks for this? I do. So is he on his way? Um... Let's just get great, but real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, here, let's get some diamonds. We need those. Anyway, so I had a really cool idea um, because I'd been saving most of my lumber tickets um, to 
essentially completely bypass uh, Iron Prime Prestige because, like, I'm not a huge fan of it. I obviously wanted to hit, um, like, normal Rainbow Prestige uh, without, like, skipping it because I think it's one of the coolest Prestiges and the one that, like, you work the hardest for. Um, so I'd saved a lot of tickets for that. And now they're meaningless because one of the changes that Hypixel team made was to um, to uh, remove, I should say, they made it so that all of your uh, Slumber Hotel items, like, you used to be able to store an infinite amount, um, but now you can only have, like, 500 at a time for each one. Wait, what the heck? Does he not care about his bed? I have pro more prop than us. Okay, well, we got him anyway. In any case. Um, wait, White still has a bed? Where on earth has White been this game? I think he's at his base. Okay. So, now that they um, made all these changes, um, I've lost, like, so I would saved up, like, 9,000 gold bars, like, the ones that you collect at the end of the game, if you have them in your inventory, and um, that alone would have gotten me, like, 10 levels, but instead, um, I lost it all, which was a huge, huge bummer. What are you doing? Um, I had like 56 levels worth or something of some of these Slumber Hotel items. What do you got? Oh, okay, we got them. Um, which I think is just super, super disappointing. Uh, let's get another pearl. Some of that. Let's see. Let's in our inventory and put that in our inventory. Yes. Very good. Um, anyway, so, now I can't skip the Iron Prime Prestige with all the levels I had saved up as I had previously planned on doing, which is a huge disappointment for me, but if people think this is good for the community, then who am I to deny them? Um, the other big change that was made was oh my I'm dying holy frick <laughs> oh jeez I know this is some riveting thousand star gameplay here <laughs> I was gonna be able to finish the game but apparently not I'm gonna get a fireball Um, I'll show you in, ex in a second what this last change does. Um, you don't even have protection. Alright, GG. So let me show you something. I got 715 Bed Wars experience from that game, even though I definitely didn't play for that long. Now, I guess one of the reasons is because I, uh, I won and I got a quest and everything like that. But they added something. They, they removed... First of all, they removed the possibility of getting um, XP from rolling the Slumber Hotel machine. And instead, they replaced it with something called XP doublers. And if I understand correctly, um, when you have XP doublers in this, like, bank, so to speak, when you play a game of Bed Wars and you earn actual XP, at the end of the game, if you have XP doublers in this bank, it gets taken from that and basically it doubles the XP that you earned. So I should have earned probably 715 Bedwars XP, or sorry, half of that. Um, how long was that game? Eight minutes. So that's about 200-ish uh, Bedwars XP plus um, 100 XP for, for winning um, and an extra like 10% for my multipliers and stuff. 
Um, so that should be about like maybe 350 XP. And if we double that, because I had enough, um, I had enough double XP in my in my bank that it doubled what we got. So instead of getting like instead of getting like uh, 350 ish XP, we ended up getting 715, which is pretty cool. Um, now I don't think it counts for with quests. Um, if it did, then you could basically double your double your weekly quest, which would be pretty sweet. Anyway, I have mixed feelings about this Better Wars update, but I do think that the ticket machine was a little bit fair for those who like didn't want to use it. Um, and uh, which I guess is fine. Um, and now you actually have to play the game in order for the in order for the ticket machine XP to count for anything, which that makes perfect sense. That's actually a really good change in my opinion, even if it's completely nerfed. And even if I lost like all of my slumber hotel items like this, I used to have hundred, like over a hundred thousand iron nuggets. And now I only have 400. <laughs> I had 5,000 gold bars and now I only have 400 some, <laughs> which is a huge bummer. Anyway, um, let me know what you think about this, this update. Um, and uh, the last thing, I guess, is when you talk to the the NPCs, they give you uh, smaller amounts of, like, items and stuff than before. So, for example, the villager, I think, would give you 200 emeralds. I'm sorry, 200 summer tickets for this many emeralds. And this time I only get 50. But I only had to trade 5 instead of 10 emeralds. So it's, they've made a bunch of changes with a bunch of the NPCs. Anyway, happy Halloween. Um, as you can see, I hit a thousand stars, but uh, that video probably won't be out for another couple of weeks. So just ignore that. Um, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.